Pack out. We all know it, we all love it. Some may be a little more than others, but hey, I'm just a guy, I'm not here to judge. But today we aren't talking about pack out in general, today we're giving you guys the top 10 pack out accessories as voted by, well, you guys. Here we go at number 10, we've got the rolling toolbox. It's classic, it's an icon, it's the basis of our pack out out in the showroom. Uh, this thing is designed for the job site, the metal reinforced corners and rugged nine inch all-terrain wheels help absorb impacts and jostles. Has a weight limit of 250 pounds, so you can stack a ton of pack out on top of this thing. It'd probably even hold a fully grown man capable of being blown away in a stiff breeze. While it may not be the greatest idea to wheel your friends around on the job, this toolbox is definitely impressive. It features an IP65 rating to protect everything inside from rain, water, and any job site debris that it could come in contact with. And the reinforced hinges help to keep everything secure and assist with transportation to and from the work area. At number nine, we've got, wait for it, Socket sets. Socket sets? Like like all of them? Every single socket set got number nine together? No. Well, kind of. People really like the socket sets. And I mean, why not? Milwaukee didn't want to just make a big toolbox that you can throw all the sockets into and then dig around inside. Each socket set is cut precisely for each individual socket. With sets in half inch, quarter inch, or three eighths inch drives available, the socket sets can be inserted into nearly any pack out organizer that you've got. This one we got here, the 106 piece beast, for example, is actually just two separate sets contained in the pack out low profile organizer. If we wanted to, we could take those socket sets out and use the organizer for other things and pop those trays into another container. They've also got uh, smaller sets, don't they? Yep, the larger sets fit into the regular low profile organizers, but they got some 32 piece sets that fit into the low profile compact organizers as well. Coming in at number eight, I know a lot of people really love this one. It's the Packout Coolers. I personally am a big fan of this one. I love a good cooler that I can take with me to the old ball game. The smaller 16 quart one keeps ice cold for over 30 hours. The larger 40 quart one keeps it for literally five days. So you know it'll be fine for the job site, camping, or you know, a party. You can fit so many uh, sodas in that uh, those things. They of course offer IP65 rating to keep out rain debris. And there's these neat little trays in there for you know like carrots or uh, dip, you know, or something like that. Oh God, please don't tell me you put dip in the tray. Well, I, it's, it doesn't say it's specifically not for dip, but it doesn't say that it's not not for dip. So. Or alternatively, you can store things like your keys, a wallet, some sunscreen, or any other small items you need on hand while you're out and about. That's pretty fair. And at number seven, we've got the drawer toolbox. Ah! <laughs> We have both the two and three drawer versions available, and these things were a massive hit when they first launched, and for really good reason. The amount of space for tools and accessories these offer, plus the ease of use and convenience is a game changer. Yeah, I mean, rather than having to pull off your entire stack of pack out just to get to that last little you know, bit set that you left in the organizer at the very, very bottom, uh, the outward opening drawers mean you can have a stack of these things like 10 feet high, still have quick and easy access to all your tools and accessories. They've also got these optional drawer inserts to help separate and organize everything you need, which is great for me since I, everything I touch is just a, a mess. That's true. And these drawers also feature security bars that you can slap a padlock on for additional security and safety during transport. Hey, remember those metal reinforced corners that we talked about on uh, number 10, the rolling pack out? Uh, nope. Well, they're making a comeback on these toolboxes for added impact resistance and durability on the job site. Each of the two boxes features a 50 pound weight capacity, so you'll be able to get a pretty decent amount of tools and accessories into these before having to get another one. Up next to number six, we've got a bit of a combo situation going on, and this is going to be for the Packout Tool Tray and the Crate. Uh, this is a pretty rad one. I'm sure a lot of you know about the traditional crate that Milwaukee released a while back. Uh, this tool tray here is a little bit newer, and you can do a lot of fun things with it. Yeah, this tool tray is able to fit inside of some of the larger pack out pieces like the rolling tool chest or rolling tool box, but you can practically create your own box with this. The crate has a weight capacity of 50 pounds, so as long as your tools don't clear the top of the crate, go ahead and throw them in there. And then slot the tool tray into the spots along the top of the crate to secure the hold. And with an additional 25 pound weight cap on the tool tray, metal handle here will allow you to hold up to 75 pounds anywhere you need to on the job site. I mean, look at this thing, man, it's not going anywhere. Now obviously neither of these items come with a lid of any sort, so you know don't do whatever you just did, but it does do a pretty decent job of holding all the essentials if you don't want to have to worry about lids or drawers or anything like that. Number five is going to be another general one since there's pretty much an even tie with some of these. Dude, I am so 
hyped to talk about these ones, man. You can do so many cool things with the wall plates. I mean, you, we found great setups that people have posted on the internet, and I gotta say, a full pack out wall looks pretty f***ing mint, dude. Well, the cool part is, is that Milwaukee has two sizes for their wall plates. So if you don't want a full size plate or just need to hang one of the smaller pieces or just one of your smaller tools, you can get a smaller plate. And those cups, dude, I'm sorry, Yeti who? Nah, these pack out cups are where it is at. They're designed with a gloved hand in mind and the lid features a secure hold uh, that you can twist with your finger to keep out the dust and debris on the job site. Uh, and of course they're able to keep drinks hot or cold all day long. Grab the smaller one for coffee and the larger one for water. Click them on your, uh, on your pack out stack there, bring them in. Uh, you're set for the day, bud. You know, I should get my dad in on this stuff. He's got a uh, third of his tools in the basement, a third in the garage, and a third in the shed. And then he also has a little bit in the uh, in their bathroom to fix a light that broke back in 2017, but he's totally gonna get to it for sure. <laughs> Up next at number four, we've got the M18 Packout Vacuum, uh, which is just a phenomenal job site vacuum. The brushless motor powered by the M18 line delivers up to 60% more suction than traditional job site vacuums with up to 30 minutes of runtime in high mode using an 8.0 battery and nearly an hour in low mode. This thing runs around 87 decibels, which is over two times quieter than the other job site vacuums. And if you don't want to drag out your entire stack, you can always slot this onto one of your rolling dollies and just wheel it along. Yeah, it also comes with this power tool adapter and two additional heads so you can also clean the dust and whatnot off your tools at the end of the day. Uh, all of which is stored in this neat little cubby right at the top here. Uh, it also looks like it could be a character in the Brave Little Toaster, so that's kind of neat too. You're really showing your age there, bud. Huh? We're in the home stretch now, people. Coming in at number three is the Shockwave bit set. Milwaukee has a bunch of bit sets in Shockwave, but the 100 piece set comes in a small pack out container so you can slot it into any pack out box or mount what you've got. Uh, up next to number two is the pack out cabinet. You know, that rad looking one that opens up and into itself like some kind of futuristic but very tiny garage door. Uh, it's perfect for holding spray paint, cleaners, greases, or any other item that you can think to fit in there. Uh, these cabinets can be mounted in the wall plates or slotted directly into your pack out stack for on the go use. Uh, it's of course built with the same impact resistant materials and includes that Milwaukee durability that we all know and love. And wh where, are you, where are you going? Which leads us to the number one pack out accessory. Uh, can I get a drum roll, please? What do you stop? What was that? What uh, drum roll? It sounded like a helicopter or something. Let's not do that anymore. I Okay, well, whatever, man. Just what got first place? The number one packout accessory, as chosen by the fine folks of OhioPowerTool.com, is the ammo box. What the hell? Uh, you were supposed to catch it. Oh my god. It is a favorite for a reason, man. Quick adjust dividers, similar to the ones found on the tool tray, help you keep separated out and organized on the job site. And of course, comes with that same IP65 rating for dust, debris, and water. You can also pull those dividers out entirely if you need additional storage for another tool, like a saw or a hammer drill or something. Yeah, I mean, it's got a 75-pound uh, weight capacity, which is just insane for a box this size. I mean, the name alone, it's a compact toolbox if you really want to get technical on it and you think, nah, maybe I can hold like a singular impact wrench or something in there. Maybe a couple other small tools, but you would be wrong, my friends. Go ahead and throw that saw in there. You'll be totally fine. That's pack out for you. Maximizing interior space while minimizing that of the exterior. So you can really capitalize on the boxes that you get. There's a reason why Milwaukee's pack out boxes were the first and are still considered the best snap together storage units on the market. If you have any other questions, leave us a comment or give us a call or send us an email or write us a letter. Whatever you prefer, just get a hold of us and we'll help you out. If you're looking for even more content from us, subscribe to our channel or check out one of these videos here. Thank you for watching. Now get back to work. Wanna see magic trick? Um, yeah. Look at that cup. Right now? Yeah. There's nothing in it. <laughs>